A couple hours after hearing from Bryce's roommate, his mother Karen gets a call from Bryce, who's with his girlfriend Kim at her place in Chico, about 90 miles north of his apartment. Kim tells Karen that she thinks Bryce isn't acting at all like himself. She was very worried about him because he was still acting very strangely. And she had tried to take his keys away because she didn't want him to leave. Kim tells Bryce's mother that she doesn't think he should be driving. But Bryce insists to his parents that he's fine. He told both of us the same thing. He told me, I want my keys. I want to go home. I broke up with Kim. She won't give me the keys. And I said, Bryce, are you OK? Yes, I'm fine, Dad. I said, Bryce, I'm worried. I said, let me come up there tomorrow. Let me fly up there tomorrow. And he says, Mom, no, don't make an airline reservation until I talk to you, because I have a lot to talk to you about. Karen asks Kim to give Bryce his keys back. And Bryce leaves her place in Chico around 11.30 PM. Karen says that over the phone, Bryce sounded normal to her. I, as his mom, didn't get the sense that he was distraught over what he was doing. Bryce didn't seem heartbroken. I said, you just need to get back to your apartment and go to sleep and call me in the morning. And he said, OK. Bryce's parents both wonder what their son meant when he said, I have a lot to talk to you about. When they dropped him at school two weeks earlier, Bryce seemed carefree and happy. We don't know of anything that could be weighing on his mind, really, for, for just a couple of weeks up north. He had just spent the whole summer with us, and he literally had just finished two days of the school year. So I don't know what it could be that he had so much to talk to me about. I have absolutely no idea. Bryce calls his mother around 1 AM and she assumes he's back at his place. But the cell tower records show that he was nowhere near. He was an hour away from his apartment, in basically in the middle of nowhere. Instead of going back to his apartment, Bryce is actually headed further south, past his college and towards the Tehachapi Mountains. Destination unknown. I believe he wasn't really sure what he was going to do. He's very conflicted. He knows he wants, he needs to go home. I believe he wanted to go home, but something happened. Something happened that made him hesitate a lot. 